Hello and welcome to another Blender know-how tutorial. In this video, we're just going to learn how to create a, a rook in chess as part of our uh, Blender 2.8 chess set tutorial series. So uh, yeah, just keep watching after this one and we'll be able to make the entire chess set. So yeah, it shouldn't be too bad. I'll start by doing this. Open up uh, a brand new Blender. This is what the file looks like when we're done. Uh, go into the front view, delete the cube. Um, I'm actually just going to open up that one more time just so that I have it for reference and also uh, so I can reference it in the video. So we're going to start by creating this base down here. Uh, so shift A add mesh and we're going to um, add a cylinder much like we did with the pawn. Actually this is going to look a lot like the pawn. Uh, all the way up to here is going to be the same except for this and so stay tuned for that you can skip to the end if you want to whatever you want to do because um, that's what we're going to be doing um, Just going through here, creating the base. I uh, just hit E to extrude up. I should have been explaining that, sorry. I kind of zoned out for a little bit. So I just hit E to, zoom, to extrude up and uh, click and then S to scale. And that's really what we're doing uh, this entire time going up. Okay, so up here we're getting into some unique shapes. So compared to the pond, this should look nearly the same. Uh, however, uh, if we uh, yes, that one. So if we look at this um, right here, let's see if I can zoom in a little bit. We're looking at this part right here. Uh, we get up here, and then we want to come out, and then up like this. So out and up, and then we're gonna start beginning to just we're gonna go here, and then wrap and around to make the top of that. So now we're just going to extrude, scale it. I'm gonna move it up a little bit actually. I think that's what it looks like there. Uh, Yeah, so that's the basic shape of what we have just created. Something like that. Uh, let's shade it smooth, add a subdivision surface onto it. Um, actually, kind of looks like a pawn again with this thing. Uh, however, now we just got to go through and loop cut everything. Not there, down here, that's right. Something like that. So I'm just hitting Control R to loop cut all these. Uh, so down here is exactly the same as what we did with the last one, or it should be. If I have failed to do so, you should keep it as yours. Um, I'm gonna throw that there and put one there. So now we gotta make all of these crisp right here. Because these are all fairly, um, well, I put that too close. Remember, if you want to move it again, just double tap G, and you can loop slide it. Um, I want that to be there, and these are all fairly sharp. And then you can see on the top we have a big end gun that we talked about last time. Uh, to fix that, Alt on that line, E, to make it a little bit smaller. Oh, actually, we're not done yet. Uh, the I forgot the rook is a castle-looking thing. So up here on the top, 
just extrude it down inside a little bit by so extrude right click and then scale it using the S key and then s extrude it down I forgot to do that yeah so now we're gonna want to start loop cutting that I'm just gonna put one right there in the middle I think that'll loop that's enough of a loop cut and push one down there and then you could get rid of the end guns like we did last time where you would just click on there select all those E and then you can either S and 0 or you could right click merge vertices at center and you'll see you get some weird stuff uh, going on um, but uh, I don't I don't think it's necessary that we even go into like that much uh, yeah I don't know it's up to you you can play with it to get that figured out uh, however uh, now we're to the good part so let's actually let's crank up a little bit of the subdivision here to make it look a little bit nicer make sure we're shaded smooth okay that looks way too harsh for my liking so um, move those down I might even actually uh, scale those out a little bit something like that oh yeah that was definitely a good choice okay so now we have that looking pretty good sweet okay now on a rook there are these little divots here uh, if you look it up there's some on the internet uh, this one actually might be easier to see on mine you have this little cut into it and so we're gonna use a boolean for that so you can go ahead and add the boolean we don't have anything to boolean it with but that's okay we'll just add the boolean hit shift a add mesh and a cylinder uh, rotate it 90 degrees uh, move it up here and scale it down and then hit S again and lock it to the X axis and just make it big and then uh, be well we could have actually fixed this before but I'm going to subdivide it uh, I just want this to be more smooth and so let's go in here subdivision and I'm going to do two views and that, yeah it looks funky now that's okay easy fix just throw some loop cuts in there and voila we're done with that so a uh, tip is so we can see here we have the the u-shape thing if we put this below here we begin to get an entire circle and so we kind of want to line up this origin or the center of it with the top of this uh, so I'm going to go to the front view and just line it up so it's a perfect U shape. Uh, however, you can do it however you want. Uh, that's what I'm going to do. So, okay, now go into your rook and just click on the eyedropper and click your object here. Click on this and you'll see it highlighted right here. Uh, just click on. You can click on one and drag your mouse and it will just select all of them. Uh, we aren't going to want to be able to do that uh, and then also so you can see right here you can see through it I'm actually glad this happened because this this does happen sometimes uh, I'm going to, to go into wireframe so we can kind of inspect a little bit maybe um, if we want to get rid of that we just need to move this at, there is a bug in Blender. I, I'm pretty sure that's what's happening. Is there is a bug? Um, if we go into solid here, you can probably add a loop cut down here. However, generally, I've been able to have pretty good luck if I move this just a little bit up or a little bit down and then turn that off again and voila it worked so maybe just move it up a little bit off of that where we positioned it okay now you can see that there's some weird shading going on here with the lighting uh, click on your modifier here and click on uh, edge split now you probably never use this it's, it's not a very common thing uh, the main instance that I can think of like when you would use it is uh, when you, oh I put it on the wrong object I meant to have this clicked 
Uh, so yeah, just delete that if you put it on your other object. We want it on the rook, and then put your edge split. The main reason you would actually use this is with the boolean. I, that to me, that's all I can think of. Now, essentially, what this does is it it selectively shades things, uh, or it shades things sharp. I guess it's an edge split. It sh it shades it as an edge. Uh, it is the proper, I guess, way to do it. But if you crank this all the way up, it has zero effect. Uh, is saying that if an angle is 180 degrees, which is a line, uh, anything above that, don't do anything with. Or anything below with, don't do anything with. But if we start dragging this down, we start to get, if we visualize an angle, we start getting a sharper angle, and sharper, and sharper, and sharper. Uh, essentially, the lower we go, we start eliminating uh, angles like that. We want to get rid of all of those so that it looks nice and pretty. Sweet. So that wasn't too bad. Uh, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Uh, just to create that simple rook. Uh, hope you liked it. Stay tuned for the rest of the chess set tutorials, and uh, we'll see you next time on Blender Know How.